What's up, everybody? Welcome back to RacingDudes.com. The stakes action keeps going strong at Saratoga. It does all meet long. We know that. There's a stakes every single day of the 40-day meet. Saratoga, just one of the many things that makes it special. And on Friday, we've got a race that every year it never fails. This race draws extremely strong. We got one again, the grade three forbidden apple going one mile on the turf, $175,000 purse. Every year, it seems like, wow, this is one of the most <laughs> difficult $175,000 purses you'll see. It's a major prep for the four-star Dave. I'm sure we're going to see a few of these horses in that four-star Dave, uh, you know, later on in the meet. All right, my top pick, I'm going to try it one more time. Number seven, public sector. Uh, I was very high on this horse coming back, debuting as a four-year-old after a strong three-year-old season. He was awful in the turf classic at Churchill Downs on Kentucky Derby Day. Just atrocious. It was a really, really poor pick by me. He got beat 15 links, and uh, I was just embarrassed, to be completely fair. Uh, after the race, a lot of talk, hated the Churchill Downs turf course. Absolutely couldn't stand it. You fast forward three or four weeks later, yeah, that turf course kind of sucks, right? No horses really liked it. So uh, that's just what it is, right? I mean, we'll just kind of give him a pass for that one. He came back uh, next time out, and I did not play him in this race because he was with his stable mate, Mason, who kind of looked to be loose on the lead. It was a one-mile poker at uh, Belmont Park. In public sector, it was an absolute paceless race. He certainly needs pace to run into I thought he closed up really nice. He ends up getting third. He gets nosed out by Wolfie's Dyna Ghost, who's also in this race, by the way. Uh, but I thought, you know, he ran a lot better. He ran at least like I thought he was capable of running at, at, when I when I bet him at Churchill Downs. Did he win? No. I mean, was he just absolutely amazing? No. But that's what I was looking for. That was that jump forward that I was looking for. Now we get a great setup, right, for this horse. He's not in a five-horse race like last time out. He's not in a paceless race. There looks to be plenty of speed signed on here. The nine should go. The two, Wolfie Zydeco, should go. Four, five, and six, they all like to be forwardly placed. It should set up for public sector here. I'm hoping. I'm hoping with everything I have that we get the setup and he finally shows what he's made of. I really am, I haven't lost faith in him. I think number seven public sector gets the job done here. I don't know. We don't have the morning line yet. I don't know what kind of price we're going to get. I would assume he's not going to be the favorite, though. So I think public sector at a, at least a decent price is the play in this spot. I also like the number three, Mira Mission. You know, this horse was second by a neck in the uh, Turf Classic at Church, uh, Churchill Downs, uh, and that's kind of a race we talked about. Uh, I'm more impressed, honestly, because I kind of just thrown out the Churchill Downs stakes uh, or the Churchill Downs turf races. It's just it's hard to gauge one way or the other. You know, uh, just to jump in on that point, we saw McCulloch, a horse that had trouble winning at Churchill Downs in races he absolutely or she absolutely should have won without any doubt. And then she comes up to Belmont in the Belmont Oaks and she wins a grade one race. So, uh, again, I think Churchill has really muddied up a form for a lot of horses. So, again, not really taken much into the Turf Classic where Mira Mission ran very well. What about two races back? I thought it was a super tough maker's mark at Keeneland. Got fifth, was only beaten a length and a quarter. You know, those horses in there were solid, solid horses. I think Mirror Mission comes up here. Uh, I I don't think we're going to get 24 to 1 like we got in the maker's mile. We might get close to 5, 6, 7, 8 to 1, and I think she's worth a shot at that price. So number three, Mirror Mission, is a horse I'm interested in as well. Then I'll just say the number one set piece is kind of an obvious horse in this spot as well, uh, coming off a grade two win at Pimlico in the dinner party. That field wasn't great, um, but this horse has some back class that is definitely good enough to win this race. Finished second last year in the four-star Dave, so obviously this horse is very talented. So set piece is another one I'll be uh, having on the ticket as well. So I'm going to go public sector on top. The number seven horse, giving, her, uh, giving him one more shot. Then I'll have Mira Mission, the three horse, and number one set piece mixed in there as well. Uh, guys, we'll have a lot of more previews for Saratoga, Saratoga obviously, throughout the meet. Uh, but more importantly, this weekend as well. I'm sure the Diana will be one that will be get talked about as well. We'll be talking about Saratoga on the Magic Mike Show all week long. We'll talk about Saratoga on Bleakers Off all week long as well. So, 
plenty of coverage. It's great to have it back. Opening weekend is here. We could not be more excited. And hopefully we help you guys cash some tickets. So thanks, for everybody, for watching. And like I said, keep uh, tuned in to the uh, website all this week for all your Saratoga coverage.